Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to talk about all of the books that I have out from the library right now and to have a frank discussion with myself about some of these books. I've created different piles that mean different things to me, but I kind of just want to go through them, show them to you, and tell you where my mind is at on if I think that I'm returning without reading them, or if I'm going to read them very soon, or if I'm going to keep them but I'm not going to read them right away. Putting them in stacks last night helped me kind of better understand what it is I want to do with these books because it's gotten a little bit out of control. The card that I have back there is usually where I put all of my library books and yesterday I could not fit all of the books in there and that to me is telling me that I need to pause some of my holds and or make better plans as to what I could be reading right now. So yeah, let's go through the stacks. First let's go through the books that I've already read and or I'm currently reading. So those are ones that are probably going to be leaving soon. I started Luster yesterday. I am currently almost done with Eight Perfect Murders. I have maybe less than 100 pages. And then I also started They Called This Enemy and I'm probably like 30 pages into this, but I know I just need to sit down and read this one. Um, and then as for the books that I've already finished and I still need to wrap up, so there will probably be a video about these very soon, is Letters from Cuba, um, I Killed Zoe Spanos, Sabrina and Karina, and Donut Feed the Squirrels. That's the first stack, and that's the stack of either currently reading or just finished. This stack is books that I've had out for a long time but that I'm still interested in and I want to read. I just don't necessarily want to read right now. Some of these have literally been out from the library since before COVID so or literally right after the library opened back up after COVID shut everything down and I've had them maybe four or five months at this point. So <laughs> one of those is Show Me a Sign. I am newly interested in this book because I realized that the person who wrote it worked at the library system that I volunteered at when I first got into libraries and that is really cool to me. I also want to read Wink and I am looking forward to this one. I want to read um, Hannah Khan. I want to read more to the story. So I still have this one out even though I've had it out for a while. And then finally I still have The Girl by Abigail Pesta. As you recall, I was reading a lot about this case during COVID shutdown. And I still haven't read this one and I'm still interested in reading it. So that's my second stack of books that I've had out for a long time and I don't want to tell you how long I've had them out for. But I still want to read so I'm keeping. Then the next pile are books that I think I'm going to return without reading or books that I kind of look through and realize maybe I just I just shouldn't um, read them at this point in time and I should just read them in a bit. One that I looked through and um, didn't read all the way but it's mostly pictures and photographs. Signs of resistance so basically like protest signs over time from the founding of the United States until the present day. Another one I've mentioned many times on my channel and I think it's time for me to realize I'm not going to read this book. It's audiobook is only available through Audible, which is upsetting to me. Um, and this is Sexual Citizens. I feel weird about this one because I do want to read it, but I think it's time for me to return it to the library. And if at some point I want to come back to it, I will check it back out again. Another is a graphic novel called The Pathfinder Society, and it's a mystery book. I don't really love the illustration style, but I do like that it's a mystery, and I've been thinking about wanting to do a mystery for my graphic novel book club for kids next year. This was an option, but I think I'm going to return it and come back to it later. Same with Sanctuary. Um, I've only had this one out for a few weeks, but it basically looks at like a dystopian world, and I was going to read it for Latinx Heritage Month, but I've been reading other things, and Latin Latinx Heritage Month is almost over, and I think I'm going to return it and come back to this book if I want to. And then I I also I'm going to return Just Us by Claudia Rankin. I've heard kind of mixed things so far about this book and I just feel like I'm not I'm not up for it at this very moment. It's a very heavy book and it's got mixed media stuff like Claudia Rankin is known to do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to return this book. I know that it has a holds list so it can fill other people's holds and then eventually if I come around to it, I'll read it. And then finally, this is My America by Kim Johnson. I have this as an audiobook um, ALC from Libra FM, so I will listen to it eventually, but I think I'm going to return the physical copy, and when I decide to listen to it, I can check this one back out again. <laughs> next, only three piles to go. This next pile are some of 
my potential nonfiction November picks. I haven't completely decided my TBR and I'll make a whole video with my decided TBR, but here are some options that I'm keeping around and definitely are going to stay on the cart. One of them is this huge graphic history called Kent State for Dead in Ohio. It's by the person who did My Friend Dahmer, which I've never read. I've been really excited for this release and I think I'm going to read it for Nonfiction November. I've also had out The Arab of the Future 2, still haven't gone into it. It might be a Nonfiction November pick. Political Junkies I've also had out probably as long as Sexual Citizens, and I've put it in a few TBRs, and same thing, I can't find the audiobook. It's not available to me easily, and you can even see that I put a bookmark in there and I read the first few pages, but then I didn't keep reading. So, another option. I feel like I might not want to read this literally after the election is over. It really depends on what happens after the election, what it is I'm going to read for nonfiction in November. I also have Sitting Pretty by Rebecca Talsig, and I have this from Libro FM as well, and it looks really interesting, and I'm thinking I'm going to read this for sure for nonfiction in November. Thank you for voting. I still have out. Same with Political Junkies. I might return this depending on what it is that happens on November 3rd. The audiobook for You Ought to Do a Story About Me is almost ready for me. Um, I actually pushed it off so that it would be ready for nonfiction November just because I have a lot of other things that I'm currently listening to. I got it re-delivered on Libby so it'll come back to me probably in time for nonfiction November and I also have the physical book with me and I'm really excited about this book. It's one of my most anticipated nonfiction reads of the year. This book, Minor Feelings, I've had to return once to the library because of the holds list, me not being able to renew the book and it almost happened again this time but I've, I've been able to renew it now and I'm really thinking that this is something I want to get to for nonfiction November. I also have the audiobook that has been re-delivered a few times um, and I'm hoping that it will be back to me for nonfiction November and I can read that for Nonfiction November. And then last but not least, one that I just got very recently, and that's The Times I Knew I Was Gay, and I've been excited about this book too. It looks like a graphic memoir comics compilation, and yeah, I'm really excited for this. Definitely one that I'm going to get to for Nonfiction November. That's my Nonfiction November possibility pile from the library. Now let's look at what do we even call this pile? Things that I have had out for a while, just not as long a while as I've had these out from the library, and there are still ones that I'm interested in, so I'm keeping. One is He Must Like You, which is a YA. I've been really into YA lately that looks at how girls and teenage girls are perceived in particular. I also want to read All Adults Here. I've had this one out for a bit, um, and I also have the Libro FM um, ALC to listen to, so that's there. Ink and Water, maybe I should put this in my nonfiction November pile, but it's another graphic memoir that I've had out for a bit. I've also had out for a bit The Perfect World of Miwako Sumida, and I still am interested in it, but I haven't picked it up just yet. And same thing with Kim Ji Young, born in 1982. I want to read this book, and I'm keeping it for a bit longer. I have Secret Coders, which is by Jean Luang Yang. This is a mostly a mystery, I believe. This similarly to um, this book here. I was going to check out to see if I could read it for my graphic novel book club, so I'm definitely keeping this one. I am I feel like I'm more interested in this one than I am in this one. And then here's more books that I've had out for similarly the same amount of time um, as these ones that I just showed you. One is I.B. Aberdeen's Letter to the World, and I know that this book is um, middle grade with um, a queer storyline. I also have out Meal, um, which I found just browsing the catalog, and it's a graphic novel about cooking. I also have Svetlana Chamakova's new book, and it's called um, Be Wary of the Silent Woods. It's the first in a new series. It looks spooky and ghosty, so it might be good for the month of October. I also have out Slay, with I've sh which I've shown you a few times now. I have The Black Kids, and I really want to keep because it's set in LA in 1992, and that sounds really interesting to me. I have out Shirley and Jamila Save the Earth Summer, and I've heard really good things about this from co-workers. It's a middle grade graphic novel, and this is what it looks like on the inside. 
quote. Also head out to a home for goddesses and dogs for a bit. I've read Leslie Connor's other book, The Truth As Told by Mason Buttle, and I didn't love it, but I've heard really good things about this book. There's a dog on the cover, and I'm a sucker for middle grade books about pets and dogs in general, so... I am keeping this one a little bit longer. And then last but not least, you should see me in a crown, which I, I've also shown you. And similar to minor feelings, I've had to return because of a holds list, and then I've checked it back out again. So that's the pile of books that I've had out for a medium amount of time. Oh, I forgot about this one. Here's another middle grade graphic novel that I've had out for a bit that I'm still interested in, I'm keeping, and it's so beautiful on the inside. Also, the way it's shaped, it's really big, like a picture book. And last but not least is this pile behind me of the most recent things that I've just checked out. Oh look, this book I just started today, so I can put it to my currently reading pile. So, I checked out this one summer. I would like to reread it, read it for a third time. I picked it up during Banned Books Week because it was out on display, and then I started thinking about it again and I want to reread it, so definitely keeping it a little longer. I also checked out When No One Is Watching on a whim because I've been reading a little bit more mystery thrillers in the past month than I have for a bit. I've heard kind of mixed things about this, but I'm interested in the topic of gentrification and turning that into a um, thriller. Sounds fascinating to me, so I'm keeping it longer. I also saw these two books, and they were literally next to each other in the stacks because of the last names of the authors, and I picked them both up. This is Case and Calendar's Felix Ever After, which I've heard many good things about during the entire year, and I've read other Case and Calendar books, so so I would like to read this one. And then also I just finished up Kaledi's other book. I feel like the storyline, the actual plot of this one will work because the themes are similar, but I think the plot of this one is going to be more interesting to me. I also have out The Sellout by Paul Beattie. I've been seeing this in a few lists lately I'm at work, like magazines and things like that. I'm newly interested in it. I feel like I want to laugh about something satirical and that's why I put this on hold and picked it up. Is this tower going to fall? Possibly. I also saw this one in the new nonfiction shelves and it's a collection of the selected works of Audre Lorde. I've never read Audre Lorde actually and I'm interested. Maybe I will add this to my nonfiction November pile as well. So let's do that. A few graphic novels. I have Trespassers, which similarly to the Secret Coders by Jean Luang Yang. I want to read because it's a mystery graphic novel. As you can see, I'm trying to really find a good one for my graphic novel book club. It looks really cute on the inside. And I like the illustration style. The pile is reaching you. Uh, the new release, Twins, by Varian Johnson and Shannon Wright. I've been excited about this for a long time now. I actually won a giveaway copy on Twitter and it hasn't arrived, but I had already placed a hold for the book from the library, so it arrived first. Um, and this is what it looks like on the inside. And I'm really excited about this. I really enjoy Varian Johnson's storytelling. I'm so happy that there are so many new, great graphic novels for kids. Also the new release uh, after New Kid, which is Class Act by Jerry Craft, which I'm very excited for as well. This is what it looks like on the inside. And it smells so good too. It's like a very specific new book smell that the other new books don't necessarily have. One more book. Okay. And the last one that I thought that I put a pause on and that I was going to read eventually, but I guess my pause got to the date and I didn't pause it for further, is Elena Ferrante's The Lying Life of Adults. And yeah, here it is. I don't think I'm going to get to it anytime soon, but I'll keep it a little bit of time. If somebody puts it on hold and I can't renew it, then I probably will return it before reading it and then check it out later in time. It's here for now. So, is that it? that's it. My light just turned off. If you've read any of these, please let me know in the comments. If you think I should focus on one more than the others, please let me know in the comments as well, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye-bye.